Raymond drives in the middle of the night to see his half-brother Ray. Ray greets him on the door, and asks him what he's doing here at this time of the night. Ray brings him in, and makes coffee for both of them. Raymond informs him, that their father's pastor reverend called, and informed that their father is no more. Ray shows no remorse and says, he does not want to go to the funeral and even asks Raymond. That if he does not feel, he should also not go for all what their father has done to them. Raymond asks Ray to come with him, as he cannot drive due to his expired license. And it was their father's last wish that his sons should attend his funeral. On asking Raymond, about why he doesn't take his wife Raymond says he's separated. Ray gives him bedding to sleep and both of them talk about how bad a father they had. Next morning, Ray packs his stuff to go with Raymond, and for safety purpose also carries his gun. Both brothers start their journey to Richmond. Refueling at a gas station Raymond receives a call from their father's pastor Reverend West, asking them their travel plans. Back on the road they talk about their father, how he alienated everyone from his life and what a bad father he was to them. A guy named Canfield from Funeral Home, calls Raymond. He informs him that their father already made all arrangements for his funeral and it was his wish to have an open casket, and once they are in Richmond they should come and see him. After that their father's lawyer, Max Mendes calls him. He tells him to come to his office once they are in Richmond. To their surprise both of them had very good things to say about their father. On reaching Richmond, their first stop is the funeral home where they meet Canfield. Who shows them the casket, to their surprise their father selected a very simple casket. Their second stop is the lawyer's office, Mendes tells them great things about their father and how much he used to remember them. He informs them their father's last wish, that his sons should dig his grave on their own. Without using any machinery and after lowering the casket they should cover the grave. He tells them he has made all arrangements with the cemetery to help them. They think this was his last trick to play with their minds. Their third stop is the place where their father spent his last days. The place is owned by Lucia. She opens the door and invites them in. She tells them she knows them well as their father used to talk about them often. And by the time she's cooking they can go to their father's room and have a look at his belongings. Both of them go to their father's room where they find their old pictures. Lucia tells them, she and their father had an affair long back and their father respected her a lot. Lucia also tells them that their father has left an individual box for each of them. On opening the boxes they find their childhood memories. Ray finds his old trumpet which his father said he has sold it, that time. Before leaving Lucia gives them shovels to dig the grave. They go back to the funeral home to see all the proceedings. Looking at his father's body Raymond could not stop his emotions and starts to cry. As he assembles himself and is about to leave, Lucia walks in all dressed up. She goes to the dead body puts something in the shirt pocket and kisses their father on the cheek. Then she comes to talk to Raymond. She informs him she can't stay long, and if they want they can come and sleep in their father's room tonight. She asks Raymond about his family, to which he says he is separated and has a son. As she leaves, Raymond goes back to the body and finds a naked picture of Lucia in his father's shirt pocket. He takes it and keeps it in his wallet. Outside, Ray meets a woman who has come to attend his father's funeral. Talking to her, she informs her name is Kiera, and she was his father's nurse at the hospital. And it was their father's wish that she should come to his funeral. She tells Ray, how their father stopped taking painkillers a long time back. To kill his pain, he used to put his headphones and listen, to this one jazz song on repeat on his phone and go to sleep. Ray goes to his brother and asks him to call the lawyer and find where is their father's cell phone, as he wants to know that song. Raymond calls the lawyer who tells him, all their father's personal belongings were with Lucia. Ray remembers how his father kept him away from jazz music that he loved so much. He goes to his father's dead body and shows his anguish. Both brothers leave for the cemetery. On their way they argue about coming there and discuss their father's bad behavior and mind games towards them. Ray is very angry, he reminds Raymond. How can he forget that their father had an affair with his wife? Hearing this, 
Raymond gets very angry and curses Ray for his words and behavior and tells him to go back and he will manage all the rituals by himself. Reaching the cemetery, they are shown the proposed place for the grave and given the tools they might need to dig the grave. Pastor Reverend West, comes there to meet them, he talks about their father. Lucia comes with his son Simon, and informs them that her son Simon is also their brother. Ray asks Lucia about his father's cell phone to which Lucia says, their father left the cell phone to Simon. But Simon has already deleted all the data from the phone. Raymond spends some sweet moments with Lucia where they talk about each other, while Ray is digging. After some time, two young men approach them. Raymond and Ray are informed that those two were also their brothers. Nurse Kiera comes to see Ray and they sit and talk. Lucia gathers everyone to take a picture. Before the lower down the casket, Lucia wants Simon to see his father the last time. With little resistance from Canfield they do it. On opening the casket the body is upside down. All of them are surprised, Canfield informs them that was their father's wish to go face down. Ray starts saying, he was a loser and he destroyed everything for them that's why he wants to go face down. This upsets Raymond and both brothers start having an argument. Ray again reminds his brother, about the affair their father had with his wife and his son was actually their father's son. They both start to fight but are separated by the people around them. Everyone cleans up and have a change of clothes for the final ceremony. Raymond has a breakdown he starts to cry and could not control his emotions, he runs to the car to get Ray's gun. Comes back to the grave and wants to shoot himself, but could not do so. In anguish he fires all the bullets one by one in the casket. In some time, he calms down. Ray plays jazz and both brothers cover the grave and pray around it. Reverend gives a letter written by their father to each son and everyone leaves one by one. Raymond still angry with Ray, takes out Ray's stuff from his car and leaves with Lucia. At home Lucia and Raymond have their sweet moment. Kiera takes Ray to a jazz bar and gives him his old trumpet to play. Ray plays in the bar. Later Ray thanks Kiera takes his stuff from her car and leaves. Next morning Raymond gets up and reads his father's letter. It says, how sorry he was about doing all the wrong things to him, and also informs that Ray is actually not his brother. His mother was already pregnant when he met her. On the other side, Ray opens his father's letter and what's written inside makes him nostalgic. His father writes, he never knew what to do with him as he was very talented, he was a golden boy. Ray goes to meet Raymond. Raymond tells him Lucia has asked him to stay for a few days, and he can take the truck. Both brothers are happy about Raymond's relationship with Lucia. Before leaving Ray asks Raymond, did they ever knew their father? To which Raymond says we'll talk about it on the weekend. Ray leaves driving the truck and listening to jazz on the radio. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to watch latest and interesting movies. And please write in comments. Movies you want to see.